Previously on Clash of Trades Season 4, six teams battled it out for a spot in the finals. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out Episode 1 to see which four teams make it to the finals. Be sure to like and subscribe because you are not going to want to miss it. Now, on to Episode 2, Season 4, Clash of Trades. Let's go to Regions 2 at Greenville Technical College in Greenville, South Carolina. My name is Ben Blank. My name is Ty Whitson. My name is Austin Kidd. We're, We're from Calhoun, Calhoun Community, Community College. College. Feels great to be back. Calhoun's been at the Clash and Trades, I think, three years. We've came in second twice and in third once. We're going for first this year. Hey, my name is Brody Nallen. Hey there, I'm Alex Caldwell. Hey, my name is Ashton Williams. Hey, my name is Jorge Soto Rojas. We're, We're the, the team, team from Central Alabama, Alabama Community College. 80 schools started and now there are 16 of us, so to be within the 16 that are here is absolutely amazing. I'm Vincent Weaver. My name is Colin Klein. I'm Colby Scheffler. Hey, I'm Evelyn Lyons McGuire. We're, We're the team, team from Valley Stevens. I'm really excited to get to, you know, push myself and put my skills to the test. It's so cool that this year the competition is NASCAR themed. One of the key elements we like to accomplish that we look to achieve with these competitions is exposing these students to the real world. We we're fortunate enough to have our national event hosted by the Stuart Haas Racing Team. This year we're building a throttle body assembly because it's NASCAR themed. So there is a throttle blade, a throttle shaft, and then the actual throttle body. And then our welder is welding the actual top of the plenum for the intake manifold. This is the top half of the intake system. At the national event, they'll be making the bottom half, which has a few more machine elements, as well as something pretty comparable to this, a little more welding. So the throttle body is directly connected to the gas pedal. It limits how much airflow comes into the engine, which limits how much power it makes. And we're gonna assemble it all together and stick it on a Roush Racing NASCAR engine. At this regionals, we're being judged on machined parts, welded parts, reverse engineered parts, total project costs, production plan, and teamwork. Hi, my name is Coder Pot. Hi, my name is Daniel Olinger. Hi, I'm Madison Shore. We, we are, are from Kevin, Kevin Dukes. Dukes. My name is Ian Vickery. My name is Preston Demarest. My name is Micah Copeland. My name is Griffin Bacon. We're, We're the, the team, team from Ulster Boses. Hey, my name is Simon Stang. Hi, my name is Chase Kiefer. Hi, my name is Ethan Brown. Hi, my name is Ellery Kiesel. We're from Minnesota State College Southeast. Coming back as a former champion feels pretty weird. I mean, we have big boots to fill from last year and we're just trying to do the best we can. The money we won for our school last year all went towards the machine and it's gonna be fun to see what we can do this year. A lot of pressure, really nervous. Hopefully I can do good by the team, come in, do everything I need to do. And we're hoping for first this year, hoping. I woke up this morning really excited for the competition today. I spent a lot of time uh, programming and, and preparing and stuff and really making sure that our processes were, were hammered out and we knew what we were doing. Being that my background is in racing, uh, it would be the dream of a lifetime to be able to go to the Haas Formula One shop. Today is the big day. I have high hopes that we're gonna do great in this competition. Welcome to Greenville Tech. My name is Kelvin Bird. I am the academic dean here at Greenville Tech, and I oversee the School for Advanced Manufacturing and Transportation Technology. You all are standing in one of the latest and the greatest facilities that we have here on campus. This facility was built seven years ago. We have everything from CNC machines, lathes, mills, grinders, 3D printers, additive manufacturing that you all are going to be exposed to. So this is going to be an opportunity for you all to compete on a high level with innovative equipment right here at your fingertips. Also, we are excited to host you all for regional number two, the Clash of Trades. So tell me, how you all feeling? Yeah. All right, that's great. So your time starts now. First off, while Austin's setting the vice up and setting the tools up, I'm gonna go through our programs and make sure that we're ready to run and then hit the road moving. We learned last year to never underestimate anyone. There's 15 other teams that are gunning for us, you know. Yeah, a lot, lot of knives trying to get me this year. Currently I'm working on our next piece that we're gonna be machining out of that piece of aluminum. 
we're just getting all that parameter stuff set up so that it'll run nice if i mess up it messes everybody up and if they mess up it messes me up today we're gonna be you know going right onto the shop floor getting right to work as soon as we can making chips right away that's the goal and uh, i think we're ready for it so we have Ethan programming right now and I'm helping out getting all the inspection plans figured out. Most of us are quiet and focused, but then we have Simon. He's an outlier. Well, I mean, it brings a good energy. It balances out the group. We've worked really hard practicing different things between machining and welding to get to this point. We like to have fun, but we want to win too. My name is Kelvin Bird. I'm the academic dean for the School for Advanced Manufacturing and Transportation Technology. When Project MFG came on board and they said, hey, you know, look, we want you all not only just to host, but we want you all to be a part and participate. I thought it was just one of the best things that ever happened to Greenville Tech because now we get to expose them and let them see what it's like when they go out there into the to the real world. I mean, it allows companies, business and industry to see that you are involved in a national competition. And I think it's a great thing for our students to be able to put that on their resume when they go out and start searching for those opportunities and those jobs to create those doors to open up for them. My school's team, having been in the finals, it's made us a lot more prepared for this competition, I would say. I got into the trades without any prior background or anything, and uh, Stevens has done a great job. One of the things I'm nervous about is the throttle body. It's got a lot of five axis machining involved. Me and all my teammates have, have gotten experience on these machines, but I'm, I'm still nervous about it. This is the kind of thing where if we don't do this right, right now, then we're, we're gonna have all kinds of problems further down the line. Our machinists are amazing. They're both young. They do things that most people in the field would not even be able to do in the amount of time that they get their stuff done. They are truly amazing. So taking out soft jaws, so this finish here, if we put it in the soft jaws, that serrated finish will ruin our finish. So by putting it in these soft jaws, it, it holds it a lot better. But right now, we just blew away a lot of chips, thick chips, and it was, it was beautiful. <laughs> As it's cutting, it's making chips. We don't want those chips to get caught because then it could either break our tool or ruin the finish. So that's what I'm keeping my eye out for. So right now we're cutting out the flange. He's running the machine while I do all my camming and get all that stuff done. Pretty important because if you start getting behind, it just, everything gets piled on top of you so fast that you just get buried in it. We're halfway through the day and uh, we're on our five axis part. We have two parts complete already. I think our welder is pretty close to dying. I mean, I, I like our speed. I like where we're at right now, so. They're very meticulous. They're getting everything lined up, ready to go. We're very focused. We come in here with the game plan. We try to stick to it and get out as fast as we can. We're here for one reason and one reason only. Well, actually, be two reasons. We, we want to win money and we want to glorify the school too. The program thinks the stock is in one place, but it's actually in another place. So it goes to cut and it takes way more than it should. We broke a tool, pretty, pretty expensive tool that's gonna cost our team. It's not ideal, but now that we're back up and running, it, we, we should be in good shape. We just have to catch up, but we'll be okay. That's a wrap for day one. Tensions are high. We have three teams returning to this regional competition. Who will qualify and who will be left in the dust? to make it to regionals was an amazing feeling. Project MFG giving me this opportunity and all of us is a blessing. There's all kinds of people in the trades. I think their representation is really important because you know it, it can be difficult to learn, especially in something like a two-year program. It's hard enough without you know people making you feel like you're not right for it. And so it's important to fight against that and to show that there's a lot of different people in the trades and that anyone can do it. It's always been told that it's a man's world and it is not. It's fun, you learn a lot, go for it. Walking in this morning, first thing I was worried about, cleanliness. Aluminum, it likes to get dirty, so the cleaner you can keep everything throughout the whole process, the better it'll go. So just trying to take it slow and steady. I'm walking into the welding booth for the first time and I am more nervous than I originally thought that I would be. We have pe two people here machining and two people here in welding. Two minds are always greater than one, so although we can't both weld at the same time or we was tacking it up, it helps a lot. 
since I'm not having to hold Antac. Talking about the blueprint and everything, it's hitting our minds right just in case we make a mistake. Brody and I, we, we get along great. What we're welding at this competition is going to be an intake scoop. They're machining a throttle body and then a throttle body adapter for us. And I get to weld that throttle body adapter that they machined out onto a hood plenum. So I've got a mounting bracket on the back that goes into the intake side. And then it goes up into kind of a pyramid shape with the intake flange and then the actual intake itself on top. My husband, he paints, restores vehicles. He has an eye disease that prevents him from being able to weld. I got to thinking, it, why don't I try it? It would be nice if I could do that part of whatever you're restoring. And so that's what got me into it. <laughs> I have a five-year-old, a 13-year-old, and an 18-year-old stepson. That is kind of difficult, juggling around motherhood and being a wife. And my family is super excited and very supportive of me being here. I have received more good lucks and well wishes than I think I have ever received in my whole life. So that's pumped me up a lot. I shattered my femur completely. December. It was pouring rain late at night. My car lifted up hydroplaned and it rolled. There was a moment where I didn't think I was going to make it here. When I got back to it, all I cared about was being able to weld again. When that hood goes down, it's a different world. Everything else doesn't bother you and you're in a good place. It really helped me feel like, all right, everything's going to be okay. Teams only have a couple hours left. Let's see how they're doing. Communication is really, really important. We've always got the spindle turning, we've all, we're always making chips. That's what's really important. We've got to get it going. As a team leader, I'm really focusing on everything getting done on time, us being ready for what's coming next. We're not doing too bad, I'm trying to figure out why it's not getting our origin correct on our probe. So we were in the middle of an operation and we wanted to check the part and it alarmed out saying the door lock failure. So we had to restart the whole operation two, three minutes over, you know, 10 minor setbacks is 30 minutes of your time. But that's just the name of the game, you know, moving past your, your setbacks is the critical part of the competition. With only a few minutes left, some of these teams are confident, while others are scrambling to finish. Will they make it to the finish line? Let's follow them over these last few minutes and find out. I'm just nervous. <laughs> I think we'll be close. This is way more challenging a part than we've ever had to do. The machinists on my team definitely look way more stressed than I am. They're freaking out a little bit. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. Competitors, time is up. Put your tools down, the competition is over. We're turning it all over to the judges right now. My team did the best we could do. That's all we can do is just our best. And we're really nervous to hear what, what the judges have to say about it. So it's the end of the day now. Uh, we just completed our parts. We have about an hour to spare. Um, so that's that means a lot when you're on the clock. There's some defects in the parts. We wanted to make sure the part was completed over the part being absolutely perfect. <laughs> we did, we gave it all we got. And you know, we came here, we, we expected not to be uh, the top dogs, but we were gonna give it all we got. We had fun and we made some new friends and we had a good time doing it, so. The program and software I use, I had a lot of issues with it, so then it would have destroyed that vice. We tried to start on this, and we just couldn't get it right. We didn't have enough time, so we ran out of time. But we just keep our composure, we try to work through the issues, and if we can't, we just count our losses, but we hold our heads high. We did everything that we could. We gave it our all. It's up to the judges now, and fingers crossed that we win. <laughs> This opportunity is amazing to really get out there and find out what you can do and it kind of puts yourself on the map in a way. I mean, I can't wait to put this on my resume in the future. Oh yeah, guys, nice job. Winning this year would be a lot for Calhoun and for myself because we've been here that many years. It's been right there on the cusp. My um, biggest supporter was my dad. Since he's passed away, my mother has stepped up and she reminds me daily of how proud my dad would be of me and to keep chasing my dreams and to never give up. He would definitely be proud of me. 
my grandfather, he used to work on NASCARs and automotive industry, just building things in his garage. If we made it to the finals with my grandfather working on racing and then me going to the Gene Haas Formula One Racing Center, it'd be like a complete circle. Regions 2 is another action-packed competition. The next episode is the final episode in our regional competitions held at the College of Southern Nevada in beautiful Sin City, Las Vegas, where the final four teams will battle it out for a chance at the championship. Clash of Trades Season 4 was made possible by the Gene Haas Foundation, Department of Defense IBAS, Haas Automation, Lincoln Electric Company, Mastercam, Zeiss, Stuart Haas, Mitatoyo, Phillips, and the many trade schools that participate if you would like to help close the trade worker deficit, go check us out on our website at projectmfg.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to watch the rest of this racing theme season.